Yo, what is happening, Chapman and the Obey Alliance? Welcome to my channel. It's Roy Alzi bringing us a brand new video today. We've got an epic day so far, and uh, let's get into this. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, the Obey Alliance, like, what? What is this? What is the Obey Alliance? Oh my gosh. Well, let me tell you guys. The Obey Alliance has an RC out right now. If you guys don't know what Obey is, ugh. They've been around for like ever, I feel like. I've been watching them ever since like 2012. Um, honestly, a great team. They have an RC out for content creators, which is going to be going on until about the 20th. Uh, they have four different uploads they want you to do. Basically, there's a video uh, with the RC and all the information. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description for that. Now, what I actually want to talk to you guys about today is actually not really the... Am I the only one spawned in? Oh. All right, Laylo, we're going at it. <laughs> we're the only two. <laughs> All right, we're good now. But yeah, like I was saying, today is actually the first day of the RC. Basically, today I have to upload uh, just a regular video on my channel, like what I would normally upload, uh, just a cut com or commentary, you know. Uh, on this channel, I have a very wide range of content I do. Uh, so it's never just a cut com or a commentary. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy, I'm missing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was embarrassing. So yeah, today is actually the first day of the Obey RC, and I'm super excited because I've been wanting to join this team ever since I was like really young, honestly. Um, I've always been watching their content, always been a big fan. But yeah, I don't want to talk about the Obey RC too much in this video. Um, I actually have a topic that I want to talk about, which I think you guys will really enjoy. Before we do get into it, I do want to just give a huge shout out and thank you to everyone at Obey for putting out this RC. It's a huge opportunity, and I just want to say how thankful I am. So, thank you guys. So, yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, you may not know this, but I actually went to Costa Rica uh, during August, and it was an amazing trip, uh, just an amazing, amazing time, and that guy is right in my face. I'm a pistol you. Okay, that was awkward. But yeah, we were actually there for about 10 days uh, or so, and it was honestly amazing, like I said. So, I think it was like a Wednesday or so uh, and we're like you know what we should go river rafting because we had to like choose between river rafting or going to like this zoo place in Costa Rica and we're like yeah river rafting for sure but yeah so anyways we're with the tour guides and uh, I, by the way I'll be putting pictures and video and all that up on the screen so you guys get an idea there was a lot of cool pictures that we took that day but yeah so anyways we're basically we get up with, we meet up with these tour guides at their like facility or their little um, you know like their their shop or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we meet up there, they tell us all these different like instructions and like safety guides and everything and all that good stuff. And we end up signing like these death waivers in case like we got hurt or something or ended up getting like losing a limb or something like that, you know. And they were all joking about it. They were really nice guys. So yeah, once we were done actually signing like our death waivers, uh, we actually got into a bus, which was literally just like a school bus. It was just this red like river rafting bus, you know. Basically though, we got on it and it took us like an hour. I tell you not an hour just to get up to like the river that we were gonna take to go river rafting so at first you know we're taking this bus and we're, oh, we're going down these nice you know these nice roads and everything and seeing all like the the scenery and everything which is Costa Rica is very beautiful by the way so yeah and then we start hitting dirt road and I'm like all right well now we're getting somewhere you know we're starting to get onto these like bumpy roads and everything yeah and then we go from rocky roads to like this huge incline and we're just you know busting our way up here with this big old huge bus full of people actually I do have a video of it check it out Pretty crazy, right? No, there's more. Please keep watching. So after we made it up this mountain and we made it to our destination, like the top of the river, we basically, we all get out, you know, they tell us some more safety features, you know, like how to sit in the raft. Most people think that you just sit like a normal chair and you just sit there and you just do a little rowing and everything. Nah, bro. They tell you to stick your foot. They tell you to stick your foot in the side of the raft. Because if you don't, you're gonna fly. You're gonna like fly out. If we hit like a huge wave, they're like, they're like, get in, get in. And you get in the raft like this, and then you just hope that you don't like die. You know, it's great. It's honestly, it's amazing entertainment. It's awesome. But yeah, so after they were done terrifying us for the second time, uh, <laughs> we ended up actually uh, putting our rafts in the river. Uh, and as you guys can see here with the picture, you can see like there's a little bridge and like the start of the river. That's where we put the rafts in. Boy, you just got messed up. But yeah, so then once we finally got in the rafts and we finally got going uh, on our wonderful adventure down the river, 
uh, we had a guide, and I think his name was... For now, we'll just call him the River Raft Guide. Uh, basically, yeah, we had this wonderful guide, and, uh, he was very friendly, and, I, you know, you could just tell he was experienced. You know, he's a hardcore rafter, and all that good stuff um so i felt pretty safe you know and let me tell you he also had a wonderful sense of humor you know uh we asked him how many times he's done this and he said do any of you know this river because this is actually my first time i'm kidding <laughs> but yeah no for real he was really a great guide and uh anyways we're going down the river and then you know we're sitting in the raft and at first it's you know it's kind of like kind of bumpy you know and all stuff and and one thing you don't realize is that when you go white water rafting you are literally helpless to the water. The water literally takes you. You're just, you're like a bath toy at that point. But yeah, so we're going down the river and it's all good and happy. And like, wow, yeah, look at the scenery. Oh, this is so cool. No, I can't forget the scenery. And, uh, you know, we're going down and it's great. And then like it hits, dude. And then he's like, okay, everybody in. And then we all drop down and we go in and then the waves like push us around and the raft goes up and tilts and flies all over the place. And then we get to this one part of the river, okay? And you could just see it, man. It's like that moment in movies where they look at the river and it's all flying everywhere. And then they look back at you and your eyes widen. We're going down this thing. We're probably, you know, we're hitting some pretty, pretty big speeds, you know? And we're flying down this river and we hit it hard, man. We go and we smack right into like the wave of the water and we just, just go way up in the air and smack back down. It was insane. Water's flying all over the place. I thought I was gonna die. It was awesome. But, uh, but yeah, so we keep going. I'm like, that was sweet. We lived. Okay, I like that. That's cool, you know? Like once you get through your first big wave, your first big smacker, it's, it's really, honestly, it's really fun. But then we got to this part where he says, this one is actually really crazy. Like, you know, be careful, all that stuff. Uh, and really listen to what I say. And we're like, okay, like we're thinking, okay, this guy, you know, he's been joking pretty much the whole entire time. Like, okay, you know, and he's, he's pretty serious at this point. You know, he's like, okay, this one's crazy. Be careful. You know, it's, it's probably the hardest one in the river. And I was like, what? You know, like I was thinking, okay, all right, whatever. So we're like, okay, yeah, no problem. It sounds good. So we get to this part of the river. All right. And they call this part of the river, the locals there, they call it the gringo eater i'm not even kidding they call it the gringo eater so i'm thinking to myself okay like this is some like way to scare all the tourists and everyone that comes there to go river rafting so we're coming up on the gringo eater and i will tell you what dude this is actually an insane an insane part of the river so we're coming up on it and we're starting to just barely get into the gringo eater and at first it's like no problem you know we're, we're moving around we're going up and down and all over the place and I have never noticed there's a ship there that's crashed. What the heck, dude? So yeah, we're going all over the place and we're going up and down and in the water and we're flying everywhere and just doing our thing, you know, and it's great. And we're all like, get in, you know, get up, row, 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 get in, you know, and doing our thing. And then I'm like, okay, this isn't that bad. Yep, I spoke too soon. So yeah, so then we get these parts where there's these huge, huge rapids and they're just throwing us everywhere, man. And I'm like holding on, you know, trying to do my rolling thing. We got water flying on my face and I'm looking like this, you know, and I, I can barely even see, you know, and he's just like right side, left side. And we're all like, ah, flying all over the place. I'm not even kidding. It was actually really crazy. So yeah, we're going through, we're getting water everywhere. And then there's this one spot where it just, it just throws you, honestly. You get to the spot where you go up this wave. There's these two waves that come and smash you like, like a sandwich, like you're just putting a sandwich together. And so you're all flying everywhere, you know, in the water. And then all of a sudden there's this huge wave that just came up and it just smashed the, the raft. Just completely almost flips the raft over. So we're almost completely vertical with the raft. So we basically are going, we're, you know, tilting all over with the waves and then the one smacks it and we are almost completely vertical. We're probably like this. Like seriously, it was crazy. So at that point, I fell off the raft. At first, I'm just like... What just happened, you know? And, and there's just water everywhere. And that's really all I remember, to be honest. I think I like blacked out for like two seconds. Because all I remember is just water just smacking me in the face um, when I fell off the raft. Well, we're here on the uh, planet of Endor. I don't know why, but this map always reminds me of like something from Star Wars. I mean, this is literally Endor, in my personal opinion. I mean, where are the Ewoks at, bro? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, basically I fall off the raft and I just go flying backwards, basically off, off it. Uh, it basically flips me all over the place. And the moment I hit the water, all I could just think about was just what just happened. Like, how am I gonna get back on the back on the raft? You know, dude, this is like crazy. Like, I could I could possibly like you know drown or die or whatever. You know, 
just thinking of all the the worst scenarios because that's always the best thing to do you know when when you're in a tense situation like that you just think of the worst things you know and i'm all flying everywhere and and water smacked me in the face you know and, I, and i'm trying not to panic i'm just like okay we're just gonna go for the ride you know and we're still going through rapids you know um and and i'm just like no the raft and you can just see the raft you know through all the water that's all over me and just the raft's just kind of like floating over there you know and i'm like oh my gosh so i just kind of like just just chill as much as i can and just kind of like swim i guess and i was just like dude am i gonna die today am i gonna die in another country like what the heck bro and one thing he told me at the end once i actually did get back in the raft and we were done was he said that is actually the hardest area to get back into the raft and one of the most dangerous areas to fall out so i was like like on one hand i'm like dude i just survived that and on the other hand i'm like oh my gosh i could have just died like what the rest of the uh the trip was amazing it was so great honestly the, the whole thing was awesome uh falling out was just honestly an amazing story that i can tell you guys right now and uh i just honestly i had such a good time so yeah, I definitely recommend that you guys uh, go and check out like other places in the world. Honestly, there's so many like things out there outside the U.S. Um, the U.S. is great, love it. Uh, I still have places to see in the U.S., but just going out there and being able to experience how other people live, uh, it's a very uh, amazing experience. You know, um, it doesn't make you feel so self-centered. You know, it's a very humbling experience, and I was just thankful it was just something that I was able to do, to be honest. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That's gonna basically do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys know do drop a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, follow my links in the description. Also check out the team I'm leading, uh, Illuminate. Links will always be in the description as well. Definitely go check them out. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys so much to the Obey Alliance for allowing uh, us content creators and just players in general uh, in the community be able to go for you guys as RC. I really, really appreciate it and uh, I just hope that you guys enjoy my content and enjoy what I bring uh, in the coming days. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm out. Peace.